Two big stories as we come on the air tonight, live at five, a travel nightmare and days of delays and cancellations. Live team coverage from Harry Reid Airport on how you can navigate through the nightmare and ringing in 2023 Las Vegas style. Tonight, how Metro Police is preparing to keep hundreds of thousands of revelers safe for our world-class celebration. 13 Action News, live at five, starts right now. 13 Action News, live at five. The travel nightmare that just won't end and the airline meltdown not yet over, leaving thousands of families stranded and luggage piling up. Flights canceled from coast to coast and passengers now in a waiting game to rebook. And headaches don't stop there. A major backup on the 15 near state line. The RTC says it is a nine mile backup and now we have weather in play. But first, from coast to coast, long lines inside airports from Denver to Atlanta, Virginia to Chicago. And cancellations and delays are expected to continue for several more days. Tonight, live team coverage. We continue to follow the travel nightmares. K McCabe is out near state line following that backup. Kevin Janison has a look at our changing weather. But first, let's get right to Harry Reid International Airport with Joe Moeller tonight. Joe. Well, Trisha, those lines we're seeing around the country are also happening here. It was a hectic day at Harry Reid. Just take a look here. This is uh, people waiting for uh, to talk to a tenant here at the southwest office. And believe it or not, that line is pretty short compared to what we saw earlier today. And take a look to my left. You can see how many bags, hundreds of bags just piling, piling up. People are trying to figure out where exactly their bags are. I talked to a couple people who are now desperate to get home. The bags keep piling up and people keep waiting and waiting. My flight kept getting delayed until I missed my connecting flight. Hi! Kayla and Doucette and her dog <laughs> were one of many who were left waiting for their bags outside the Southwest office at Harry Reid Tuesday. She was trying to get to New Orleans for Christmas, but that never happened. Now she has no idea where her bag is. This is madness. I hope all my things are still intact. I feel like they're severely understaffed. As many people are having issues at the airport, others are trying to figure out another way home, including Susie Townsend. Her flight to Denver was canceled. Could have gotten a flight today or tomorrow for $1,500. She says she had no choice but to enjoy another day in Las Vegas. Now she has another way home. Right now on a Greyhound bus at 1.35 a.m., like, you know, in a few hours from now, going through the night, and I'm not excited. Now back out here live, a lot of the cancellations over the last few days have been with Mega Airlines Southwest. Well, they issued an apology and say winter storms have caused widespread disruptions. We'll have much more on that in about 10 minutes, but the TSA also releasing a statement tonight. Let's go ahead and pull that full screen up right now. The TSA issuing this statement saying their goal is to try and keep passenger screening times down. In a statement to Channel 13, they say yesterday at LAS, the max standard wait time was 29 minutes and 4 minutes in pre-check lines. 90% of passengers waited 15 minutes or less at the airport here. Now, meanwhile, a lot of people are trying to get back to Las Vegas who are stuck in other cities. Uh, I spoke to one man who was in Los Angeles. His Southwest flight was canceled, so he decided to rent a car and drive here. So he's sitting in that traffic on the 15 right now as well. Now he says he's going to do what he can to get his money back. I, I emailed Southwest and basically told them that, um, you know, my, my flight was canceled and I'd like to be refunded the money. And they said that they uh, essentially they sent me an email back saying we received your inquiry and we'll get back to you within the next 10 days. And now this is a look at the rental car center he was at in Los Angeles. He waited about two hours for a rental car and eventually he hit the road. And again, he's sitting in that traffic trying to get back here to Las Vegas so he can eventually get to work. Uh, now back out here live, I actually want to show you somebody. Gina Cancellari is also waiting for her bag. She attempted to go to uh, Florida over the past couple of days and she couldn't get there. She ended up in Missouri and now she decided to just come back home and now she's trying to find her bag here at the airport like so many others. Just look, look at how many bags are here outside the Southwest uh, office. Trisha. Joe, Gina had told me before she went that she wasn't sure she would make it. Then I got a text with a hotel logo on her shirt and now she's back. So she, her, her trip didn't make it all the way. That's so funny you ran into her. 
Yeah, she's uh, not very happy right now, as you can imagine. I can imagine. All right, Joe, thank you for the latest. And going in depth tonight on this travel mess that has caught thousands in the holiday travel disruptions, it's difficult to know how to best handle this nightmare. And tonight we asked the owner of Pearl of Orient Travel Agency if having extra protection can help travelers be more prepared for something like this. Should travelers purchase travel insurance? Does it work? Yeah, it's we recommend that for us a travel agent, we recommend that to buy a travel insurance right now since you never know what's going on happen to you. That's right. Grace says if you book your trip with a travel agent, make sure you text them. If your flight or trip gets canceled, they have contacts with the airlines that you don't have. Well, this travel mess is also impacting the Runner Rebels as they open up conference play. UNLV is on the road in San Jose to take on the Spartans, but it has been a journey getting there. The team was not immune to the flight delays and cancellations this week. Runner Rebels head coach Kevin Kruger says star guard Keyshawn Gilbert will have to meet with the team at San Jose State due to flight complications. Kruger says although the holidays were good to him, there was a little added anxiety to this week leading up to the game. It was really stressful on the 25th when we're all uh, in our group text as a staff of who's where, uh, you know, because they weren't supposed to be there, <laughs> you know, why they were there and uh, how they had to reroute or change. Or, and I think, uh, I mean, everybody that flew somewhere had to call an audible and change things. It's impacting everybody. Tip off for the San Jose State game is set for tomorrow at 7 p.m. And tonight, day two of a traffic nightmare for hundreds of drivers. Just look at that. They're attempting to make it home from the holidays. Right now, I-15 southbound is backed up for miles.